Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create scrolling credits. Now I get asked this quite a lot, how do you create a credit scene which kind of scrolls up across the screen and you'd be surprised how easy it actually is. So I have this brand new scene set here, just default which is with the camera directional light and to do it we go to game object, go to UI and let's start with a raw image. Now choose your background colour, so in this case I'm going to go straight for black, I think black's perfect. We're going to anchor it to stretch both ways and then position it zero by zero and then double click and then zero by zero. So the black image stretches right across the scene. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to game object, UI and let's go to text. I'm going to set the text color as white. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Let's have it as, let's say, 24. Let's double click and check which way it reads. So that looks just fine there. So obviously you're going to need to know who, let's say, the developer is, the original creator, artist and all that. So let's create a little mock kind of credit scene. So let's start with um, project manager, something simple like that. And let's align it to there. And next what I'm going to do is let's go down and let's have animators and let's drag this down like so. So let's say we've got two animators. So let's go down one extra line there. Let's have um, programmers. Let's go down a couple of lines again and let's have original planner. Go down another couple of lines. Let's have special thanks. So you can see it's pretty easy to make it like this. And I'm going to go with something just a little bit different here. I'm not going to put everything in one text box. I'm going to duplicate this text box. And I'm going to bring it across. Oops, it's not duplicated there. Let's try again. Let's duplicate it, bring it across. And let's have project manager, obviously me. Animators, let's have John Doe, and let's have Joe Blogs. Programmers, let's have Jimmy Vegas again. Let's have, who should we have? Let's have Rob Marks. Let's have Ian Steele. And if anybody gets these references, let me know. Original Planner, let's have me. Again, special thanks, Mrs. Vegas. Um, we'll just have Mrs. Vegas as special thanks. So now I'm going to quickly realign this onto the right side, pull it out just a little, and I'm going to bold it. Just give it a bit more prominence. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to encompass these two in a single game object. So on canvas, right click create empty and then drag and drop those two straight into game object there and now let's bring this game object off the scene so down to about there next thing we're going to want to do is go to animation create and let's just call this credit animation save let's set the first frame which is frame zero we're doing it at 60 frames a second so the first frame is going to be exactly where we are now on the position Y. So let's retype that, minus 469. And let's say we want these credits to scroll over the course of about 20 seconds. So we're going to go to frame 1200, which is 20 seconds. And then let's place this where we want it to be. So we want the credits to finish all the way up here. And then let's press the record button to stop and let's press play. And we can watch our credits scroll nicely. So as I say, it's actually really, really easy to create credits. It's easier, easier than you would think. It's as simple as that. And instead of having a black background, you could have perhaps some kind of animation in the background or anything like that. But there you go. There's our credits. And guys, thank you very much for watching.